The grass is greener and many are moving again thanks to some needed rain we've had here recently, but we need more. First Alert meteorologist Evan Mishuli tells us how local farmers are handling the drought. Severe drought continues for portions of central Illinois, including McLean County. Recent rainfall wasn't enough to go beyond the topsoil. If you dig down deep in the ground, which we did the other day, uh, you can tell, still tell it's fairly dry. The stunted growth of corn is an obvious sign of the drought. So corn's unusually short, and some fields you can actually walk in and, and tassels about eye level, which, you know, at six foot, that's... That's a couple foot short of what it usually is. Normal tassel height is between seven to nine feet, but its shorter height may have helped during recent storms. One thing, we were lucky with the wind that we had that the corn didn't blow over because without the rain, we didn't have a real good root system, you know. I guess it probably helps that it doesn't grow, didn't grow as tall as it usually does. But ending a drought is complicated. For example, say our rain deficit is three inches here in Peoria. Even if we get three inches of rain, it doesn't mean our drought is just going to go away. There are many different data sets that go into assessing what the drought map looks like every week. So yes, of course, precipitation is a major one, but also things like um, soil moisture, stream flow. And even though thunderstorms can produce a lot of rain in a short amount of time, that's not always helpful. Rain that falls really hard, really fast is not going to be as effective. It's possible that the first inch or two, if it's really heavy rainfall, will soak into the ground. But then if you get more than that, a lot of it just becomes runoff. But moving forward, there's still hope. So likely through mid-July, potentially even the rest of July, we should see a wetter and cooler pattern, which overall should be helpful to drought recovery. And early speculation suggests corn yields will be below average and soybean will be near normal. Reporting in McLean County, I'm 25 News First Alert Meteorologist Devin Mishuli.